Hi everybody. So, it's been a few months since I've updated. I have nothing but bad news unfortunately to still report, with a glimmer of hope and a word of caution. Um, the bad news is that the two embryos that were implanted in me after meeting with the doctor in Maryland, who was so wonderful, also failed, um, just like the first IVF failed. Since then I got another IUI with heavy medicine. Thought, I don't know why I thought it was going to work. It didn't work. The day that I was supposed to go for the pregnancy test for that one fell on my cat's birthday. It always seems like all of these things fall on magical days, like the first failed IVF was my birthday. Um, this was my cat's birthday. Did I just say my birthday or my cat's birthday? Anyway, it fell on my cat's birthday. My cat who died right before all of this stuff happened, and I think I'm just at the point where I'm fed up, so that day, instead of even going to get the test, because I take the test at home anyway, um, and I knew it was going to be negative, I called and went to the surgeon, and I now have my left fallopian tube removed. And that's actually a good thing, and I wish I would have done it earlier, because this is a picture of it. I don't know how well you can see that here, but the dark side is actually the good side. The light side is the side that um, is useless that whole ovary, the tube is blocking it, it could not get to it, nothing can get to it. Um, so the dark dye showing up on this side is actually a really good thing um, because that means that's the only one that was functioning all along. So all of these treatments that I've been getting have been under, um, let's say blocked by an H, a uh, hydrosalpine. Um, the hydrosalpines can also produce toxic fluid that can come back and kill the embryo um, in, in non-medical terms. That's the best way I can say it. And nothing can travel through it for a natural attempt or an, IV, an IUI. So I pretty much wasted the last 10-11 months of my life doing this stuff. Wasted about $40,000 at this point now and have gained 40 pounds through all of the injections. Um, the estrogen, all of the, the stress and turmoil that this has caused for me, I've actually gained that much weight too, which definitely is not helping the situation, but I'm very hopeful now, with this removed, the surgeon really thinks that I have a good chance, and I'm going to take his word for it. But my um, only word of advice for you, because I really don't have a whole lot of success to give, I can only speak to all my failures at this point, is get every single thing that you can get tested, tested. Why spend the money? Why gain all this weight? Why go through all of the stress if you haven't um, got everything you can possibly get tested? If this works, my first attempt works now after the fallopian tube is uh, removed. That means that's what I should have done all along, and that's definitely what the doctor should have done all along. So I'm a little bit frustrated thinking backwards now and knowing that I'm almost a year older, and that makes my chance even worse now. Um, but don't proceed with anything unless you're thoroughly tested every part of your uterus, everything that could possibly be wrong with you. Go get tested.